I'm a little hesitant to tell you all my draft strategy, but the things that I've learned over the years tell me this. If you don't have a number one elite running back, you have nothing. And if you don't have a quarterback that's worth a darn, and you have to play the fantasy waiver wire every week with your quarterback, that can be a real pain in the tail. So usually I go after the best running back available, uh, especially if I have a pick in the top five or six picks, and then I target the best available quarterback. And I know that goes against some people's strategies, but I can tell you firsthand that if you had a Priest Holmes a few years ago, if you had a Marshall Falk, if you had a Kurt Warner, uh, last year if you had Peyton Manning or, or Tom Brady when he was throwing up big numbers and a big time running back, you score 80, 90 points right there off the shoot. And you're guaranteeing yourself a pretty good chance to win. So I target my, my first two players make up the rest of my team. If I don't go after a quarterback early, then I do draft him late. Traditionally, my, my go-to, my number one fantasy guy every year is Peyton Manning. I've had him on multiple championship teams, and I just know he's going to get 30 to 35 points a week. And if you've got a guy that you know is going to take 30 to 35 points down for your team, you have to take him.